Between 200 BC and 700 AD, this little-known civilization drew thousands of geoglyphs here in this once fertile valley. To grasp their full scale, you need to gain altitude. Because this giant puzzle spreads over approximately 500 square kilometers. Despite numerous reconnaissance flights, Johnny Isla of the Palpa Nazca program knows there are still more geoglyphs to be discovered. The monkey is one of the most emblematic figures in the area. It measures 83 meters by 70. It was etched on a plane at the beginning of the Nazca civilization. It's one of the most iconic representations of fertility. The first Nazca lived in an arid area where water was essential. The spiral-shaped tail represents the cycle of life. The quantity and entanglement of the geoglyphs is such that up until today, it hasn't been possible to draw up a full inventory. In order to do this, the Peruvian authorities have decided to call upon NASA and its high-resolution airborne radar. The UAV SAR is one of a kind. It's designed to decrypt ground topography and map out major archaeological sites such as the Nazcas. Bruce Chapman, researcher with the Space Archaeology Program, monitored the project. The teens climb powers, not NA ground spoilers. Yeah, how do you know if you've discovered a new geoglyph if there's no definitive catalog of geoglyphs? With the synthetic aperture radar data, we're very sensitive to where the piles of rocks are aligned. And so can that data be used to help create a definitive catalog of the Nazca lines? So we imaged almost the entire World Heritage Site between the town of Palpa and Nazca, and also areas south and north of that area. Some are shaped like uh, the hummingbird and the hands and the astronaut, very fanciful shapes. And then another type of geoglyph are these geometric geoglyphs. And these can be huge, many kilometers long. In the case of the lines, which are like these very straight paths, they can be many, many kilometers long. Line complete. Copy that. Line completed. The feed is engaged. The data collected by NASA's radar has helped draw up a catalog and a more complete map of these ancient designs. Most of the geoglyphs are clustered around the Nazca area, but there are others, more to the north, in the Palpa area. Recent aerial research helped locate very different geoglyphs from the Nazcas. Hidden by hills, or located in inaccessible areas, unknown geoglyphs have recently been identified. The discovery of these new designs is a great step forward for local archaeology and world research on the line. This is the Piedras Gordas sector in Palpa. We're going to see a recently discovered geoglyph that hasn't been shown to the public yet. This monumental killer whale etched on the hillside, a few kilometers inland, is an important deity.